bad loss for us. Bad loss. But uh, deservedly, they, they, they play better. You break it down simple to math. You know, they, they won the effective field goal game. They won the turnover game. And when you do that in college basketball, you win about 85% of your games. And they did that. And uh, I attributed, told the guys during the game, I, I, I attributed a little of the uh, cobwebs at the beginning to, um, you know, the, the, the time off, 10 days, whatever it was. But I thought we got out of it. I mean, Josh obviously started the game with five turnovers, which is pretty uncharacteristic for him. Um, and we just, uh, we never got going. I felt it all game. I kept saying it all game. We're playing their pace. We're playing their pace. And it was, they are a low scoring team, want to grind it out. We want to get up and play. But I like to think we have a, a group that can play multiple styles. Um, didn't help not having Xavier Johnson, two shooting guards, and Jamal and, and Coop trying to manage the point guard position. But uh, you know, we just have work to do in our program, continuing to build and invigorate the toughness that we know you need to play with and win with at, 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 the, at a high level in, in college basketball. And it's a mindset, it's a competitiveness, it's a spirit you have about yourself. Self, and um, enough guys didn't have it for enough time tonight. And again, I don't pass the blame to any one player. It's our job to get them there. It's our job to get the players here that, 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 that have that in them innately. Um, you know, but disappointing loss. Um, and I told the guys, I never, in my seven years of coaching, I've never wanted to play in, play in a game. This game, I like wish I could have put a jersey on. I was thinking, that, I mean, four losses, you get to come back home, we get a week of practice, and now we get to play against a team that you know is going to test your intestinal fortitude. And uh, we didn't um, pass that test at all. Uh, and uh, we'll keep, keep working at it. We'll, we'll keep working at it. We'll watch the film. We'll keep getting better. Questions for Josh? Hey, Josh, you did get off to a slow start, but you kind of picked it up in the second half, shot the ball a little bit better. Was it just a situation of you just started getting into a groove offensively? Uh, yeah, um, I did get into a better groove. Um, my teammates did help with that. But uh, like Coach said, um, you got to be better. Um, got to be better in the first half, too. And uh, yeah, you can't get off these slow starts. You have to continue to grind and be tough. Hi, Josh. From from an athlete's point of view, how would you describe or what do you feel was the main factor of the unfortunate performance tonight as far as like just the team, the team's performance and everything? Yeah, uh, we have to be tougher out there. Um, ODU had a really good game plan and they played the way they wanted to play. Uh, we have to be tougher as a unit and that starts with me. And I have to do a better job of uh, setting, the, setting the tone. Anything else for Josh? I didn't want to disturb you right no, no, okay. no, you <laughs> okay. no, Yeah, no problem, no problem. Offensively, uh, you did struggle tonight. What was the biggest hurdle? Uh, well, turnovers to start the game. You know, we, you know, until tonight, we, I think we're top 30 in the country in, in our effective field goal percentage. But, you know, we can't get shots if we don't take care of the ball. And, you know, Josh, obviously, he handled it in, in, in the second half. He finished with five. But to start, I mean, started the game with one. Started the game with a really simple cut, turnover, bad pass, bad pass and catch. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I felt good about the, the a lot of our, sh our shot creation. You know, um, you know, Jamal was, was 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 getting open looks. We were getting the ball to Josh in the post. Um, I gotta look and see. I'm not, you know, I gotta I gotta look and see it on film. I felt like we were getting him the ball where he likes it. It was something that they 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 trapped. I thought our, our double team spacing uh, was fine, but you know our guys are trying to take care of the ball, but they're, they're playing slower now. We 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 want to create tempo and play fast. And we had opportunities in the first half. We held them to 29% from the field um, to play a lot faster on offense. I felt like we had a lot of late, um, late shot clock field goal attempts. And um, they made some great ones. I mean, CJ Kaiser, a kid that I've known for seven years, I recruited him, I was a Tulsa, um, made phenomenal shots. 
late uh, late in the game. He made some you know, shots on Jamal in the flow of the game where it was a very simple action to get a smaller Jamal on a bigger guard like Kaiser where we don't need to switch. In our program, we talk about toughness, competitiveness, work ethic, humility, but toughness just comes in when you, in the flow of the game, you know what a guy's trying to do. And it's, 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 it's nothing a coach can do in that moment to, to change that. I ain't switching. I ain't switching my five whatever teammate on a bigger guard at this juncture in the game because I know what they want to do. I was coaching at Colorado and we were playing South Dakota State when they had one of the best scorers in the country named Mike Dom. And it's a heck of a game. And Mike Dom is killing. And we had a freshman named Lazar Nikolic from Serbia, just dog tough. And we made a sub and I gestured to put our senior on Mike Dom. And Lazar Nikolic weighs me off like, no, I got him. I got him. You know, I got him. That's the stuff you want on a team that you, 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 can't, you, you can't coach that. You, you can't coach that. And we yell. We, so finally, we got to stop switching. We got ticket on, on, on Kaiser. And he did a pretty good job with them um, until the end. And you talked about pace. Was that something that you felt like Old Dominion was doing something in particular? Or was it just not? The, that the kids just weren't pushing the yeah. place the way you wanted it. No, they 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 did a good job in transition defense. They uh, they and then they they play slower on offense. Yeah. You know, so they they like twenty eight second possessions, and that obviously gives us a less opportunity to score. It's it's a, it's a beautiful game because everyone can play a different style. Ideally, we would have liked to kind of force them to play faster with some more pressure in the the full court, um, it, but we were had some depth issues. Uh, you know, and I try to, to alleviate that with playing some different guys, but you can't press when you shoot 32% in the first half and 33. You have to score. You have to score to, to set up your, your, your press. So, again, defense and offense are married. Yeah, and Lias, um, what was the explanation on Ticket's uh, post-play technical? Well, um, it led to my technical. Um, in a physical game, like this is a physical game, players are trained to play through the whistle. Players are trained to play through the whistle. They're, they're trained. So Devontae Gaines gets a rebound, and someone is clearly in his arm. He's clearly in his arm. And a whistle is not heard. Devontae Gaines is doing his job by trying to get that ball away from that guy. If the whistle comes late, he's in the middle of getting him away from that guy. And I guess they said, I didn't see, they said he hit him in the face. So I said, we need to call fouls when fouls happen because people get hurt that way. I don't want them. I don't want the other team to get hurt. I wish every opponent good health, good health and a good season. I, I don't want anyone to get hurt in our beautiful game. When a foul is called, you blow the whistle that, or, or guys get hurt because players, basketball, football, they're trained to play through the whistle. Coach English, kind of co-signing from this previous question, there was lots of tension um, leading into the or during the second half and I just really wanted to know how you're able to manage that with especially with the ref and everything were they making bad calls or how <laughs> no, were you able to just no, I can't say they were making bad calls um I Malik Henry had a dunk and I jumped up on his dunk trying to invigorate some fight in our guys and excitement and I jumped as he was going to finish the ball and uh the the, the official uh Trey Steins thought that that was a gesture at him. It was a gesture to my player who was about to dunk the ball and I was trying to spare my team, but um, he interpreted that as a, a, a warning, a technical foul. Coach, you talked about trying to get more shot attempts at the rim. You guys end up taking more threes than twos tonight. Was that something over you just decided you're going to pack the paint and not let that happen? Or what was it about you guys not being able to get those attempts at the rim that you're looking for? Yeah, they, uh, they, they, uh, yeah, they, they. I mean, we got the ball inside quite a bit. They double teamed Josh. They played really good on ball defense. Um, there were a lot of drives in there, and and, and again, we got we were in the, the the double bonus with quite a bit of time to go. I feel like it was maybe eleven minutes. So those those came from driving fouls, a lot of them. But they did a really good job, you know, guarding the line of the line of scrimmage. There's no defense there that can help you if you can't uh, um, guard the ball. I liked our guys' uh, you know, mindset in, in, in driving the ball, but you know we got to 
uh, do a better job. The paint's most most vulnerable in transition, and uh, we didn't get any stops in the second half. Forty-seven percent is 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 really bad. You know, we held them beneath forty for the game, but they held us to thirty-two. That's that's that's, that's this is this this is our, our this is the worst we played this season. Uh, this is our worst loss this season, and um, you know, I'm sorry for our, sorry for our fans that are, you know sit sit through that, but. You know, we're building it. We're going to get tougher. We're going to get more competitive. You know, we're going to continue uh, working hard, and we'll figure it out. Anything else for Coach? Thank you. Thanks, guys.